All right, hello everyone, and peace of Christ to all of you. You know, they never have enough of spanking. Never. Uh, you know, Amir, he uh, called me today, and he said, actually, let me play for you what he said. Because he called me when I was... <coughs> hey, brother. Hey, Amir, how are you, my friend? We are live on air, and everybody can hear you. Peace of Christ to everybody. Uh, brother, I have a question. Um... Here in your book, I have the English version of uh, Allah's deception, deception of Allah. Yes. In your book, uh, it's titled Muhammad Loves Money. Mm. And it is re re uh, you give the reference of Sahih al-Bukhari, book 46, mm. Hadith 771. Right. It is reported by Jabir ibn Abdullah, there was a man who promised his slave that the slave be freed after his the master's death, mm. after the slave's master's die. The, died, the prophet called the slave and sold him. <laughs> the yeah. slave died in the same year he was sold. Yeah. And some Muslims say, no, CP, uh, make things up. It's not <laughs> mentioned. <laughs> <laughs> you know, this is, this is what we have, this is what we just were talking about. Anything we say, they say he's making things up. Uh, any, anything, it doesn't matter. Yeah, every, every time you make, I show them the same uh, CP is making things up. <laughs> yeah. Okay. You know what? I will, I will make a special. I will make a special video. I will make a special video about this later, but not today because right now I'm live on air and we are like uh, we are just enjoying our Sunday. I will make it and send it to you so you can play it for them and let, let them get get busted. Yeah. Okay. But but, but brother, he says there is no in this hadith that the master died. You know. It is CP edit. This is no problem. You know, we will see if this is true or not. I mean, they can say whatever they want. You know, they are welcome to, to say as they wish. But, uh, you know, uh, we can. We it always is not true, CP. Yeah, it's not a true, it CP. Is not true it's CP. not true, CP. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't say that, CP. By the way, uh, by the way uh, uh, if you are from Germany. Uh, uh, I'm dying of I know. If you are from Germany, don't forget to subscribe to Amir. He have a big. Uh, how, how many how many subscribers you have right now on YouTube? Uh, anyway, this is what uh, what the Muslims came with. So look what uh, what the Muslims do. Anything uh, look embarrassing for their prophet. Anything. It doesn't matter what it is. They claim that we are lying. Anything. It doesn't matter really what it is. It is embarrassing. It is stupid. So we have to deny it. And then we accuse the Christians who they are reading for us what is in our books that they are lying. This is the hadith. As it is in my book. Do you see it? As it is in my book, word by word. No, CP. It doesn't say that, CP. And now they are doing the same with Amir. No, Amir. It doesn't say that, Amir. Christian Prince is lying to you, Amir. What a bunch of goats. What a bunch of goats. I mean, aren't you going to stop doing that? This is exactly what is in my book. Book number 46, Hadith number 711. I mean, how in the world you Muslims cannot find the Hadith? Something wrong with you. No, CP. It doesn't say that, CP. But look here, by the help of the Muslims, they try to make us look like look bad. You know, we are the bad ones. Look what they prove to us that Muhammad is a fraud, a filthy man. Because if a man he free his slave and he died, why you wanna sell him again, enslave him again? The guy he became a free. The guy, the the man. He told the slave, when I die, you are free. A promise from me. The man he die, 
and the slave became free Muhammad he asked for him bring him here he said who want to buy him uh, there's different report where it says that the the person here this is the only property he have so so, so what what property so uh, some Muslim they might say to you well this person he he borrowed money from some people he have to pay it back well about what about the profit he paid from his pocket and let the man go free I mean the man he just got freedom Price is a freedom. Who are you to make him lose his freedom? Who gave you the, 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 the right? And you know the funny that the Muslims they cannot find this hadith when this hadith is reported all over. All over. I mean you can find it everywhere. Not only in Al-Bukhari, you can find it in Sahih Muslim, you can find it in everywhere. But the Muhammadan, they cannot find it. Because the Christian prince is lying. He's lying. The poor guy, he is a Coptic Egyptian slave. Muhammad, he sold him again for 800 dirham. Jabir added, the Coptic Egyptian Christian slave, which means, what is what Coptic mean? Coptic mean he is a Christian. He died in that year. For sure he will die, the poor man. So the poor man, the last few days in his life to be free, Muhammad, he took that pleasure from him and he made him die from sadness. And Muhammad, he sold him again. And this is here in different hadith. This is Sahih al Bukhari 6947, or in reference as they call it, book number 89, hadith number 8. You see, the numbers are different depending on what they are quoting from. But this is their translation. This is their website. This is their talk. This is their words. And yet they claim that we are lying. The story reported everywhere. I mean, how in the world you cannot find it? The same as the story with this guy, the, the, the potato, Fifi. I challenge Christian prince to find this quotation. Yeah. They challenge me. Even they have his name. His name is Yaqub, as it says here. As you see. All of this and you could not find it <laughs> they cannot find it so I wanted just to make this video for Amir you know Amir he called me I was driving you know I cannot you know Amir Amir is very excited see me please make a video about those guys they are accusing me I'm lying I said Amir I'm, I'm driving <laughs> I'm driving <laughs> And then Amir, he called me again after 15 minutes after that. And then Amir, I answered him. I said, Amir, I am right now in the in the beach. <laughs> I'm going to do fishing, Amir. <laughs> Amir is chasing me because they are they are bothering him. You know, they accuse him to be a liar. And for him, he don't speak Arabic. He's an ex-Muslim, yes. He's from Iran, you know. Uh, he speaks Pharisee. Uh, so, you know, they chase him. Lying, this is not true. It doesn't say that. You know? So so Amir is very excited. I want he, he, he want the answer, he wants to show them, you know. He has he's, he's very passionate. And I'm telling him, just wait, man, just let me just wait until I get back home. Like come on, you know. <laughs> but anyway, as you see, not only one reference, it's all over. All over. This is Sahih al-Bukhari too. You see it? This is Sahih Muslim. This is Sunan al-Nasai. Yet they cannot find it. They cannot find it. Only Christian prince, he can find stuff. Muslim, they cannot find it. Right? There was a dirham in the time of Muhammad. Uh, <laughs> no comment. <laughs> dirham, yeah. <laughs>
No, the, I think this is the 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 Durham is added maybe you know Durham, yeah. Well, all those are you know all those words are not even Arabic. Uh, but as you see, the Hadith is all over, not only in one place, one book. Yet the Muhammadan they could not find the Hadith, and we are lying. But the important for us, obviously, Muhammad is a very ugly man. If a man he free a man, how you take him and you sell him again? Who are you? Hmm? Who are you? And look, Muhammad he claimed that he owned the slave. The guy, this is not his slave. Who buy him from me? Hmm? Who are you? Who buy him from me? Right? Uh, I remember you are saying that the most of the Jews are now are Christians, but I don't see the evidence. Because you are ignorant. You know, isn't it all the disciples of Jesus are Jews? If the Jews, if the Jews, after thousands of years, they are not even 20 million. So where is the Jews? What happened? Simply, the majority of them, they became Christians. I don't see the evidence. I don't see the evidence. <laughs> Very funny people. I mean, they, they are immature. They have a brain of a child. And they involve in a discussion which is they are not qualified for. He want me up. He want to prove that the major number of the Jews became a Christians. I'm going to right now to the street, my friend, and I'm going to uh, give get, get you the name of every single one of them immediately. Go and check. Where is the Jews? After all those thousand of years, there's only twenty million Jews in the world. What happened? Where did it appear? The majority of them they became a Christians. As simple as that. What happened to them? Where are they? We are talking about a nation who has exist for a long time. Right? Uh, <clears throat> anyway. Uh, people they make argument just to argue but not because they understand what they are arguing about well you know he should not be angry I mean they, they will accuse you of lying I mean what, what you expect what you expect the Muslim to say he's saying the truth this is true it's embarrassing as you see so for sure they will say you are lying Especially, we understand that Islam is a religion allowed a person to lie. A Muslim, he can lie in three cases, Muhammad said, to his wife, his family, and in war, when they are Muslims, are in war with us. According to Islam, they are in war with the Christians. They are in war with everyone who is not a Muslim. Until Judgment Day. Right? Most of the Israelis, they practice Judaism. It is to show you how ignorant you are. Well, the Israeli, most of them, they practice Judaism. Well, because the, num the biggest number of the Jews are in Israel, you idiot. But the major number of the Jews are Christians already. So for sure the Jews, they are going to practice Judaism. What do you want them to practice? Hinduism? <laughs> Let me show you how stupid you are. How many Jews there is in Israel? How many Jews right now as we speak in Israel? Five millions? So after 2,000 years, there's only five millions Jews who practice Judaism? What happened? Where is the rest? Hmm? So you are convincing me that the Jews, they practice Judaism and that to prove the point. Very smart. By the way, just to show you how ignorant you are, the Jews who became a Christians, they practice Judaism still. 
because they call themselves Masonic Jews and you are a certified donkey. They call themselves Masonic Jews. You just go search it right now. Some of them, they, cop, they keep their heritage like they are Jews. Some of them, they don't care no more. Just call themselves Christians. Anyway, so I'm not going to stay here long. I just wanted to make this video for uh, for uh, our, our brother uh, Amir. Uh, because they said to him, it doesn't say that, Amir. He is lying, Amir. Where it says that, Amir? Yeah. Mm. Uh huh. Yeah. Well, it says that, and we got you busted, as usual. And they have no shame. And the funny, they think by denying what is written in their books, they can let it go. You cannot. You see? Do you think really somebody he made a book? And the book is going to be printed. He he will write something is not there. Don't you think that people will ask him where he got this from? I mean, I'm giving the the book name, the number of the hadith, and yet they say it's not there. And again, this is exactly the hadith I quoted in my book. Actually, I posted the link under the the video. You know, the reason I chose this one, by the way, there's many hadith are even better than this one, but because it's short, it's short you know, we'll make it clear, and that, that's it. The, the rest are really long, you know. So I chose this one because it's short, and this is the book, 46, hadith number 711. 711, even, even the name is fantastic. The number fantastic. Otherwise, the hadith have many report, there's many numbers, exist in many places, and even in different books. You see, all of those are sahih. All those hadith are sahih. This is Sunan Abi Dawood, sahih. This is sahih too. This is Al-Bukhari, anyway, sahih. This is Sahih Muslim, for sure Sahih. The same Hadith. So yes, your Prophet, the man he promised somebody, if you, you know, uh, uh, if I die, you go free. And then the man, he became a free, and he is a Coptic Christian. His name is Yaqub. Your Prophet, he sold him again for 800 dirham, as you Muslim report in your books, as you see. So you know when when the Muslims they uh, uh, they make uh, they make an objection, their objection is an objection of denial, not objection of uh, facts and knowledge. They cannot believe that their prophet is what we are saying. So they claim it doesn't say that, CP. You are lying, CP. It's false, CP. You know, yeah. Anyway, I will be back. Uh, in uh, what three hours now from now what what time let, let's see i will be back soon uh, we will talk about uh, uh, hijab because today supposedly is hijab day or yesterday it was i don't know uh, we will be back in about three hours from now if you like to join us and uh, i hope uh, you people will uh, enjoy it and we will share some important informations for those who care so until we see you again and uh, i'm sure uh, amir is happy now to uh, to to get them busted those who accuse him of lying but my friend never accept the muslim to believe or let us say not to believe sorry to agree always always uh, you know, they will accuse you of being a liar. It doesn't matter what you say. Even if you just say your name. Doesn't matter. I remember once uh, I entered a chat rooms of Muslims and because they knew I'm a Christian prince, so I took the mic 
And I said, Muhammad, he did not rape anyone. Everybody in the chat, in the text, is saying, liar. Christian prince is a liar. I said, he did not uh, sleep with the children. It's liar, liar. He did not steal money. Liar. They were accusing me of lying for saying their prophet is good. Because nobody is listening. They knew that this Christian prince he is the enemy of Allah. So whatever he say, we have to say to him, liar. I was saying Muhammad is a good guy. He said, liar. Muhammad did not order to beat women, liar. Muhammad did not rape women, liar. The admin in that chat, he gave them radat, which means he muted them all. He said, this stupid idiot, he beat us again. Even in our chat room, he did beat us. He was saying the prophet is a good guy. You told him liars. He was saying he did not rape women. All of you, you said liar. Are you, are you crazy or what? And then he said to me, Christian Prince, you, are, you have an intelligence of the devil. No, my friend, you have the stupidity of a rat. It's not my fault if you are stupid and blind. You eat poison, you think it is cake. Don't blame it on me. Blame it in your stupidity. All right? So guys, we will be back here in a few hours from now. If you care to join us, thank you, John. Uh, just three hours, I think. Three hours, we will be here back. And the topic is about hijab. Uh, we will not stay for long. I mean, we will just cover the topic, etc. Uh, but you know, when Christian Prince, he says short videos, God knows how short it's going to be. I mean, like maybe one hour, two hours. <laughs> I hate it, you know. I, I say I'm going to make a short video and this is supposed this one actually it was so short video because I want to just show the hadith but you know topics they lead each other and etc and you find yourself what is supposedly short video and to be like 40 minutes so okay this is now short video so we have to stop <laughs> so Amir can use it thank you guys for being here may the Lord bless you and then we see you again in a few hours from now the topic will be about hijab until then Christ is Lord, and we get them busted every day. Thank you. Take care.